Hello, uh, I'm going to demonstrate this time how to uh, change the options on the gamepad and some of the other options there are for controlling the actual player. So we just got the standard set up, uh, I've got just a video loaded in, I can skip through that video uh, like so. And yeah, then as you'd expect. So one of the first things to note is that this is currently using the games um, system so you have the uh, crosshair or the, the blue dot is attached to your uh, head mounted display and wherever you point to uh, and when you click your select button it will then select that so that select button can be in multiple different types uh, it's spacebar it's enter it's the letter a at the moment set on the gamepad it's the trigger on the vive control and it's the left click on the mouse and it's also on the uh, the remote control of the uh, of the oculus remote so if i uh, so an example being so i can click i'm going to use the mouse button here because i'm sat in front of my computer so i'm going to click through like so and that's pretty much how you can use the actual uh, player without any kind of new ways in which to actually uh, do with the uh, input controls if that makes any sense so yeah so that's that's the standard way in which to do it uh, now, if you've got a Vive, I've got a couple of Vive controllers here. I'm currently demonstrating this on a Vive, although I do have an Oculus as well, because I developed for both. I can turn on the controllers, and you'll notice uh, you've already ones that appeared in there. So we've got one that's appeared in there, and also we've got the other one, which should come into view when it's, it's realised it's tracking it. There we are. So there was, there's the tracking. Um, so there we are. So we've got. Um, I'm left-handed, so I've got the uh, laser on the left, um, and then you've got the controls on the other controller. So, in theory, we don't really need this. This is useful if we want to make uh, make some uh, make some adjustments using the Vive controllers. So, if you wanted to, if we wanted to just sort of hide the menu and then skip through, or or um, or do the explorer, we could do it. We could do it all with this controller by simply pointing this at the other controller at this one. I'm doing this without the headset on, so it's a little confusing. Uh, let me put it on for a little bit. So you point, point it at that, and as you can see there, it's um, it's highlighting them. So if I click on that, that brings up the Explorer. And as you can see, the Explorer has opened. Uh, click on it again, it hides it again, and we can skip through the actual, the actual um, uh, video itself. Uh, so because this acts as the crosshair we don't actually necessarily need this so if we only had one controller on then this would just act as being able to play and pause as your normal way like so so the uh, the select button on the on the actual vive controllers uh, is the trigger so you can click through uh, like so quite easily there um, some of the things to note is that some of the other control elements are on there as uh, used on there as well. So, if I was to uh, use the touch, the the touch thing, which is the, the circular thing here, this here, if I was to click up, I can click up through the menus like so, and down through the menus, and this allows me to change it more precisely without having to click individually. And also in the Explorer. I can uh, I can go up and down the menus. I haven't got actually a list. Let me go to the images here. I can go up and down the menus using just tapping the D-pad D rather than clicking it. So up and down like so. And if that was a, a, a long list as well, I could do it on that list as well. So if I click on the outside of that, so that's the Vive controllers. Pretty straightforward. Uh, there's the grip grip elements on here as well. So if I push the grip elements like so, the Vive controllers hide. Not doing my microphone. The five controllers hide, and then I'm back to the gaze. So the gaze now works as it was before, and although the although the five controllers are hidden, it should you can still use the trigger, uh, like so. So we could be watching a film, and I could just hide the controllers, and then you uh, and then just have a blank room, and be able to watch a film as standard. So those are the five controllers. I put them to one side. I'm going to turn them off now. In fact, I'm just uh, bring them. Uh, so turn off the controller. Turn off the controller. 
So I've just turned the Vive controllers off uh, so I can demonstrate some of the other control methods. So if you've got a if you've got an Oculus, then you'll have the Xbox controller. Um, Whirly Gig has multiple Xbox controller options, so here we can change these options. So if we click on that, like so, we've got a picture of the Xbox controller, and all of the Xbox buttons that are listed here can then be changed. So one thing to note is the D-pad here that works as a d-pad so that works as you're up down left right and that's set that's not changeable but all the other options are changeable so we've got here play pause select so that's our standard play pause select and if you want to change any of these options so if I wanted to change the loop option loop video which a lot of people don't find that useful I can change it to a whole load of these different ones here so hover over that and then you can grab and hold and you can select whichever one you want to from that list We've got lots of different options that you wouldn't normally see. Uh, so subtitles off and on, volume up and down, uh, settings. Basically all the controls that I can actually map, I can map there in, in there. So let's say I could put um, a video out of blur. So I've changed that to video out of blur, so that's the top one on the controller. So then hide this menu as per usual. I remember which one it is, and there we go. That changes the video out of blur off and on now on the game controller. So you can customize your game controller to however you like it, and remove the options that you don't want and add options that you do. Um, one one very uh, powerful element of uh, Whirly Gig relating to the controls is that it's fully mouse controllable. So at the moment I've got it set to gaze. So if I move the mouse or anything like that, the mouse you might see there it comes out of the actual box here. And, uh, and around so you don't actually have it locked in. One thing I can do is I can switch the mouse controls on. So at the moment it's got disable mouse support and that's selected. So if I click that it will no longer, I can now move the mouse and use the mouse as mouse support which makes changing things a lot easier sim similar to um, to using your standard kind of desktop within your Vi uh, Vive or your uh, Oculus Rift. Uh, some people might think that it was, it's not necessarily useful to be able to have mouse control, but if you're, if you're for instance, doing production and you're sat in front of the computer all day, uh, being able to pick up the mouse and just simply select these different options and change these different options makes things a lot easier. Uh, the one thing, about mouse, uh, one thing about mouse support is that your actual mouse is now locked inside so you can't select outside of this window um, so if I wanted to click on another window I would have to compress control tab to be able to cycle through my windows or um, I would go to my settings menu and I'd click disable mouse support and I'd disable mouse support back on again so I've clicked that back on and then that's now disable the mouse support and I can move my mouse back outside of the window again. And that's generally the uh, all of the current options that are available for uh, for controls. Uh, hopefully you find them useful. If, uh, if you want me to add any more or you, you, you're interested in uh, refining them to make them easier then let me know. I uh, hope you find this tutorial useful and uh, all comments and feedback is always welcome. Thank you very much. Bye.